This is a hospital progress note. It contains 64 words. To determine what it's worth, you need to figure out the level of care by taking apart the history, the exam, and the medical decision making, and plugging that information into this table, which shows the documentation requirements for hospital progress notes. For these encounters, only two out of three key components are needed. You can use either the 95 or the 97 E&M guidelines. In this case, the 97 guidelines give us a more definitive answer, so those are the rules we'll use. Starting with the history, there are four levels of history recognized by the ENM guidelines, stratified according to this table. In this case, we do have a clearly identifiable chief complaint. But then, the doctor says, the patient denies any spontaneous somatic complaints. This statement is invisible from an ENM coding standpoint and contains absolutely no elements of HPI, PFSH, or ROS, and therefore, we will not qualify for any level of history. The next step is to figure out the fiscal exam. Looking at the exam and using the 97 rules, remember the level of exam is based on the number of bullets recorded from the various organ systems. Here we get one bullet for documenting three vital signs and one for describing the patient's general appearance. One bullet for listening to the lungs and one for describing the respiratory effort. One bullet for listening to the heart and one for assessing the patient for lower extremity edema. This adds up to six bullets, which means that using the 97 guidelines, we would qualify for an expanded problem-focused physical exam. The next step is to check the medical decision-making. To figure out the medical decision-making, you have to take apart the assessment and plan using the medical decision-making points system. Starting with the problem points first, here we have two stable or improving problems in the CHF and hypertension. They're worth one problem point each. We also have a new problem of mild hyponatremia for which no further workup is described, which means this problem is worth three problem points. This gives us a total of five problem points for this encounter. The next step is to check the data points. Looking at the data points, here we did review labs and also order labs. This gives us only one data point for this encounter. The next step is to check the risk. Looking at the risk, it's clear that this encounter qualifies as being of moderate risk. Here we have two stable chronic illnesses in the CHF and hypertension, and we also did engage in prescription drug management by stopping the diarrhea. So no matter how you look at it, this encounter clearly would qualify as being of moderate risk. So we have four or more problem points, one data point, and moderate risk, which means that since only two out of three dimensions are needed, this adds up to moderate complexity in medical decision making. Going back to our documentation grid, now we know we have no history recorded, an expanded problem focused physical exam, and moderate complexity in medical decision making. Remember, for these encounters, only two out of three key components are needed. Therefore, the documentation provided would qualify for the 99232 level of care. So when you put it all together, remember, only two out of three key components are needed. Here we have a non-qualifying history, an EPF physical exam, and moderate complexity in medical decision making, which again adds up to the 99232 level of care. So now we know the note contains 64 words and is worth $69.31, which works out to $1.08 per word, which is pretty efficient documentation. If you want to learn how to take apart your friend's notes like this, consider signing up for one of our web-based E&M coding curriculums. We offer several different subscription options to match any practice pattern. We also have a coder curriculum, which includes up to 33 AAPC CEUs for only $99. If you need ENM coding education for multiple providers, ask about an ENM compliance web portal, which provides trackable and verifiable ENM coding education for multiple doctors.